Good morning, everyone. Welcome to everyone that's here this morning. We welcome to our guests to my right, uh, representing the community in very, various sections of the community on this very, very special day. Remembrance Day, or Poppy Day as it's sometimes called, this year is particularly special, considering that uh, this year is 100 years since the start of the First World War. Can I just do a test? Miss Stench, can you hear me? Excellent, thank you. Today is a, a day of mixed emotions for many of us. Uh, I was certainly there at the weekend in Clown when we celebrated the lives of those who have given their lives, the ultimate, the ultimate sacrifice that we may live uh, in a world with peace. It's a difficult time. Uh, at the moment in China, we have all the world's leaders meeting, and we know that across the globe, uh, we're facing troubled times. And it puts into perspective Poppy Day, the fact that we've had a number of wars, in particular two main world wars, where people did give with their lives, that we may live, and it's the lives of the few for those, the many that have survived, to take advantage of what they stood for. I'm going to hand over now to Jason Echo, for the forward. With proud thanksgiving, a mother for her children, England mourns for her dead across the sea. Flesh of her flesh they were, spirit of her spirit, fallen in the cause of the Solemn the trumpets thrill, death august and royal, sing sorrow up into immortal spheres. There is music in the midst of desolation, and the glory that shines in the tears. They went with songs to the battle. They were young, straight of limb, true of eye, steady and aglow. They were staunch to the end against odds encountered. They fell with their faces to the foe. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. They mingle not with their laughing comrades again. They sit no more at familiar tables of home. They have no lot in our labour of the daytime. They sleep beyond England's foe. But where our desires are and our hopes profound, felt as well spring that is hidden from sight, to the innermost heart of their own land they are known, as the stars are known to the night. As the stars that shall be bright when we are dust, moving in marches upon the heavenly plain, as the stars that are starry in the time of our darkness, to the end, to the end, they remain. Thank you, Jason. I'm now going to introduce Reverend Shaw. So as we gather here this morning, we remember for God in thanksgiving and commend to his safe keeping those who have died for their country in war, those whom we knew and whose memory we treasure, and all who have lived and died in the service of the peoples of the world. So again, we hear those haunting words. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Uh
They shall not grow old as, they, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. Let us pray. Ever living God, we remember those whom you have gathered from the storm of war into the peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fears, bring justice to all peoples, and establish harmony among the nations. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now a final prayer of blessing, that we too may be a blessing in God's world. Go forth into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast that which is good. Render to no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honour everyone. Love and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. And now, may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest upon each of you and all whom you love and pray for, this day and forevermore. Amen. Bell will go for the start of lunch. Thanks to everyone for their part in this morning's service. A very special service and a memorable one too. Thank you.